And do you see those sort of states, I guess, especially in the US, going to benefit greatly from having that very cheap energy with this AI revolution and with the, the need for basically cheap energy to be efficient? Sure, not just the US, but mm. Russia. You know, Russia has an enormous amount of natural gas. A lot of it is in the Arctic. We're writing a piece right now, um, tentatively titled uh, Plenty to Spare. We'll see if uh, the editor in chief. Um, can't come up with a better name than that. Um, but Russia has an enormous amount of natural gas. And with Europe shunning Russian natural gas, it's got to go somewhere. And one of the places it might go is into data centers and AI that the Russian military and the Chinese military might collaborate on and build them out in the Arctic. Half of the energy consumed in a data center in the US is, is used towards cooling. A lot simpler task to cool an AI data center in the Arctic, you would think. Um, and so, you know, these molecules have a way of coming to market. Another thing that we're going to talk about in this piece is how the war in the Middle East might spur China to finally agree on terms with Russia to build the Power Siberia 2 pipeline, which will permanently redirect gas molecules that had been flowing to Europe um, south to China. Again, the bifurcation of the energy world, uh, as well as the financial world, um, keeps, keeps, um, keeps going apace.